Ikea is a great place for crafters. My video this summer on Ikea was really popular, so I'd like to offer you this in-depth series that's a little bit smoother and a little bit more in detail on products that are offered throughout the different departments at Ikea. So join me as I start to explore some different areas of Ikea, being really specific about some of the things they offer and how I would use them in my craft room. Ikea is a huge store and certainly a shopping experience. Each week we'll dive into one specific department and take a look at what they have to offer for the crafter. If you are planning a trip or even just looking online, make sure to reserve plenty of time. So let's jump in and I will share six tips on shopping the workspace or home office department at Ikea. One of the best parts about visiting an Ikea in person is getting to see all of the beautiful setups and inspiration rooms that they have on the showroom floor. All of these rooms are designed to inspire you based on your style, your workspace size, and your workflow needs. I feel like this particular setup is targeted at parents because it has the sweetest little section for kids to craft right alongside with mom or dad. And it also appears to be focused on a sewing specialist because they had a sewing machine and ways to use these beautiful pegboards to organize all of your different sewing supplies and patterns. They even have details inside the drawers and inside cabinets so that you are free to open them up and get ideas for what might fit inside various pieces of furniture. I know that an L-shaped desk is very popular so this was a great inspiration starting off point. And I love that they have these cabinets here. And again, like I said, they're filled with some different ideas on how you could utilize storage in the different compartments and what it might look like in your craft room. I feel like the next inspiration room was set up for a teenage girl, but I can't help but fall in love with all of the gorgeous colors in this room. I really like the desk setup with the shelf up top and the whiteboard mounted right above the desk as well as storage for supplies on those hanging bins. They also had these sweet picture frames that really worked with rubber bands that I thought would be cool for changing in and out card designs that you are currently working on. I like this unique desk setup because it is attached directly to the Calyx Cube organizers. One helpful thing in all the inspiration rooms is that sheets are provided with all of the furniture listed, including price and where it's located when you go down to the shopping area. You can see how bright and fun this room is and how they use that Calyx cube organizer as a divider, which would be great if you have to share your crafting space with somebody else, or maybe it's in your bedroom. I had not seen this Alex add-on unit yet. It's for the top of your workspace. And it's pretty cool that the drawers are right there, but the drawer doesn't pull out very far. And it was really difficult to try to get the books in and out of the drawer. So just something to think about if this is a piece that appeals to you. I also really liked this task lighting. It was very sleek, easy to turn, and it would be great for working with smaller pieces. If you do beading or jewelry making, things like that, I know that that task lighting would come in really handy when working with smaller elements. The next inspiration room that I came across is done in a more traditional home office style. But I have seen more and more crafters shying away from white furniture and going towards darker furniture to create a warmer feel in their craft room. I do love the look of these bookcases and how much they hold. Plus, I think a comfy chair and reading nook in a craft room is a great idea, a place to curl up and relax. If your craft space also functions as a home office like mine does, then this is a great setup to take a look at. Here they were able to create several unique vignettes or areas of work for different tasks. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers especially have an area for videoing and an area on their desk for editing and an area for crafting. So I like how they had it divided up. This would be a great idea for any home business. This shelving unit is called Bacant, and I like the industrial look of it, but that it's still white. It's all metal and super deep. So if you're storing larger craft items like 12 by 12 paper, they will totally fit on this shelf. Plus again, they use shelving as a room divider, which is a fabulous idea. Next, let's move on to picking the perfect desk. 
IKEA has a huge selection of desk and desk systems that you can customize to work for your needs. One of the most basic is the meat desk, and this is the one that I have in my craft room. I actually have two of these in white that serve as the base for my larger tabletops that I customized for my work needs. For only a little bit more, the Meek line has different variations. This one has two upper desk drawers and is longer in general. Now I'm sure I'm butchering the name, but this desk is called the Lysabo desk and I like the wood grain on the top and it kind of had a mid-century modern feel to me. It was a smaller size and scale, which works really great in a smaller space. Speaking of small spaces, I love this Ingatorp desk. It collapses on either side, kind of breaks down. So this would be ideal if your desk is in a more common space in your home, say in your dining room or in the living room, because it can be broken down. It's smaller and doesn't take up as much space, but when you're ready to craft, it opens up and you have plenty of space to spread out. Desk with the Hemnes label generally have a more traditional look and feel. This particular desk has two upper desk drawers and it has a wood look and structure that is very traditional and would work in a house that had a more traditional feel. This desk is from the Kuhleberg line and it definitely has a very industrial feel. Plus I love the wood top. It was very industrial rustic and I like the pairing of it with that large stool. It was a pretty good size workspace and it also had a cool edging around the top of the desk just as an extra detail. The one drawback to this desk is that you would have to purchase some extra storage. Of course, IKEA specializes in working with small spaces and these Lamarp secretary desks are just the bill for that. They are tiny and cute and I love the secretary look in the back, perfect for a smaller space. And I really liked this dark teal color that it came in and then this is a beautiful creamy white. This is called a Naughton stand and it said in its description that it was ideal for entryways for grabbing keys and purses and things like that. But in my opinion, it would also be a great storage piece in a craft room or a craft space, especially if you were wanting to keep your craft supplies out in the dining room, living room, places like that. There were really cool pockets and places to store things in here and you can keep a lot of supplies in a very slim, format. I liked the hooks on the sides as well. Something that I have seen that's been really popular lately are standing desks and Ikea had several to choose from. This was their most expensive model that I could find and it was super cool how it worked. On the right side of the desk, there was a tiny little control panel with arrows that you just press to make the desk move up and down. It was super smooth, so nothing shook on the desk as it moved. And I like the idea of being able to change the height of your desk because sometimes I feel like standing and sometimes I feel like sitting. Here is another standing desk that I found that was a little bit cheaper by about $150. It comes in white, which is ideal for crafting in my opinion. And it also moved very easily, but I wasn't sure about where all of those cords would hide nicely in your home office. You can see here as I move the desk up and down, they even have their computer sitting on their desk and it's not a problem. Nothing shakes. It does adjust to a pretty good height. I happen to be six feet tall and so I need a very tall desk to work on and this would have fit the bill perfectly. One issue with standing desk is that they don't have any storage included. The Freddy desk is an interesting choice because the shelves are adjustable. The shelves you see on the sides can actually be moved to the inside. It looks perfect if you have a lot of computer equipment. I feel like the Malm line has been at Ikea forever, or at least as long as I can remember. It is a very sturdy, sleek looking desk. It has the wood look, but of course is still made up of that laminate, and it also comes in white. The other cool thing is that some of the desks have this neat accessory that pulls out to kind of make your own L desk or just give you some additional workspace while you're crafting, but you can push it in and give yourself some more floor space for the rest of the time. For me, the most ideal desk solution at Ikea is customizing your own. 
They have a variety of tabletops that you can see here, plus a huge array of legs that you can use beneath your tabletop to really create your own style and look. The tabletops can be pieced together in a variety of ways and kind of configurations. For instance, if you're looking for an L desk or a corner unit, those are options that are available. Plus there are some really affordable, smaller options where you can create your own desk for under $30. Once you've chosen your tabletop, you can look at the selection of legs. They start out very cheap at only $4 a piece, but they have some nicer ones that extend if you're wanting a standing desk height. And they also have ones that include storage pieces. And for all of the crafters and artists out there, some of them can raise up in the back, kind of putting your desk at an angle, which can be easier to sketch on. The options are pretty limitless, so I really encourage you to look around at the store and get some different ideas because they use these pieces throughout the entire IKEA store just in different ways. So check it out, get some inspiration. My next tip for shopping the workspace department at IKEA is to work the system, and that would be the furniture systems. Many of the desks and shelves and file cabinets, things like that, fall under different names. And you'll see, for instance, this is the Mike line or the Meek line that I use in my uh, craft room and they have a lot of different accessories. So if you stay with the same system, you can look up all the different possibilities, the configurations, and if you are adding desk pieces together, for instance, here you see that extra drawer system on the side and the shelving on the top. If you stay within the same system, you will be guaranteed that your pieces work together and that they also work together visually. So all the drawer fronts will be similar and things like that just to create a cohesive look in your room. For instance, I never knew that this uh, mic line, meek line has this L corner unit, which would be fabulous for creating a longer corner unit work surface in a crafting room. Here are two desks that are part of the Alex line, and I'll show you later, Alex drawers are highly popular in a lot of crafting spaces. I had never seen these particular desks and I loved the colors of them and this nice detail in the back for holding cords or if you're like me and keep your embossing tools and things plugged in, it would be neat to be able to store them back here, flip it down and still have some workspace to work with. The Alex line includes drawer units, desk, and I think a few desk accessories that you can use to all coordinate in your room. The Besta desk was new to me. I have seen the Besta cabinets for a while and this was a very cool desk. I liked the gloss finish of it and the metal pulls on the drawers made them really easy to open and they were very smooth as they opened and closed. There were also several filing uh, accessories like file folders and rolling carts that went along with the Besta desk. Again, when you stick with the same system, you can be sure that all your pieces will coordinate together. Speaking of filing and storage, there was a quite the array of pieces used specifically for storage, all a part of the Gallant system. And the Gallant system has lots of different configurations that you can use with this kind of module system. And they have several papers available at Ikea to help you kind of pick and choose which pieces will work best for your needs. Again, most of the pieces, most of the systems come in at least two to three different finishes. So you can pick the one that you prefer for your space. And there's always workers around to help you kind of identify what you're looking for. This particular storage system was also new to me and I was drawn to its gorgeous blue, kind of dark turquoise color. I really like metal finishes. I think that's really cool for a craft room. The drawers were nice and deep and the doors um, were pretty functional, I guess. it was. I couldn't really tell how you would be able to work the shelving inside, but I'm sure you could play with it a little bit more in the store. They had a couple of different pieces. This one kind of remind, reminded me of lockers and I actually thought would be great for kid storage and um, in a kid craft space, but it was fun to see all the different pieces. And this rolling cart was very cool next to the standing desk because it had this lip on the top that you could put a lot of different art supplies and have access to them very easily. 
Again, the deep blue in this line and then kind of this mustard yellow had a very cool kind of retro look and soft closed drawers, which are always a plus anytime. Tip number four, take a look at the seats. Ikea has expanded their office chair line a lot over the years, and now there's a lot of variety and options for you to choose from based on how you want your office chair to look and how you want it to feel. I happen to be a big fan of swivel chairs in a craft room so that you can move around easily and get to what you're looking for. So these are great ones. I like the pink and the blue especially. I also prefer to have craft chairs that are harder surfaces that are easily um, easy to wipe down because often I'm playing with paint and splattering things all over the place. But if you're looking for a little bit more comfort and a little bit more color, I am in love with these particular chairs. They're called Orfjall and the retro colors they come in are gorgeous. There are so many options and so many chairs to choose from. Definitely come in person and try them out. Okay, if you are watching this as a crafter, I can almost guarantee that storage is your number one priority in your craft space. Let me show you some of the storage options they offer in the workspace area at Ikea. These Helmer drawers are metal and they're on rollers. They are very small, which is awesome because you can put a lot of smaller craft supplies in them. But for the most part, when the drawers are installed correctly, they don't open all very far and so it can be harder to get items in the back. As you can see, almost every desk system has a movable drawer system that coordinates with it that either fits under the desk or next to a desk. By far the most popular drawer units at Ikea for crafters are these Alex drawer units and they come in white and black in this beautiful blue color, various heights and widths and crafters use them in their craft rooms for all kinds of different purposes. I actually have a set of these Alex drawers that works with my desk system that I've created and it gives me some extra storage on the side and also helps me create a slot specifically for my laptop storage on my desk. Before you pick a system, make sure to list out the things you're hoping to store in there and determine what size and width and depth will work best for you. Of course, it's always fun to accessorize your craft room. So my last tip is to really check out some of the accessories, like these gorgeous IKEA pegboards that are really gaining in popularity. I feel like every season, IKEA is adding new accessories that work with their pegboard system. Beware that their pegboard system is unique, so you can't use standard pegboard accessories with an IKEA pegboard, but they're offering more and more choices that kind of work with theirs as far as holding books and bins and small bits and pieces. This little nook is a great example of accessorizing your craft space. I love the desk add-on in the back that adds height to the workstation and more storage, plus the curtain rod there to uh, add display places is really nice, especially with just the clips because you can easily change them in and out. The Sumera drawer units are awesome because they can be cut easily and custom fit into your drawer. Thanks for joining me for this in-depth look at the IKEA workspace department. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I will have some more IKEA videos coming up in the coming weeks. Also check out the playlist on my channel about craft room organization for more tips and tricks on making your craft room work for you. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, keep it creative.